This is Dennis McMahon, and welcome to Positively Vermont. And today we are going to be speaking with Suzanne Snyder Johnson of a very interesting organization called Sail Beyond Cancer, uh, which is a, a program uh, uh, providing a unique uh, water aspect uh, experience for the entire family. Uh, so welcome, Suzanne. Thank you so much, Dennis. Thank you for having me on the uh, on the show. It's really an honor to be here. So, yeah, and I, I hope uh, uh, we get uh, some uh, information out to the public. Uh, I, I've seen your website, and uh, uh, that will be published uh, along with the video at some point. Uh, but let's get started. First of all, tell us a little bit about yourself. Some of the background. So, so Sail Beyond Cancer actually was started this year in February 2020 after I had uh, started and ran a, another nonprofit by the name of Healing Winds Vermont for about six and a half years. So I, uh, I, I decided to go off on our own and uh, provide a similar service. And so what we do, Dennis, is I, I went through cancer about 10 years ago, right here in Burlington, breast cancer. I was completely bald, so I went through the whole works. I grew up sailing on like on uh, Long Island Sound, on and offshore, and I, in my early 20s, I obtained my license, my captain's license, and just been uh, in my soul all my life, you know, sailing. And so, I, you know, as I was coming out of cancer, I really just, actually, when I was right in the middle of every, everything, I knew that for me to be able to get away from every, every day and every minute of this anxiety that... Uh, you know, hoping you're on the right track for your, your right uh, treatments and am I going to survive and what's going to happen to my children and all of those anxiety provoking thoughts uh, that I felt that being on, on the water, being powered by the wind, uh, especially sailing out here on Lake Champlain was a tremendous opportunity for me just to, to leave everything ashore for three hours and just to be with my extended uh, friends and family and just make me feel like I was uh, normal, you know, I, you know, without cancer for just three hours, and that was incredibly empowerful. So, empowering. So, I uh, in 2014 decided to start this uh, nonprofit, uh, and in this past year, we have changed the name to Sail Beyond Cancer, which is a better name that better describes who we are, what we do. Uh, I mean, he Healing Ways is a great name, but it just didn't quite, I always had to sort of explain it to people. Right. So, you know, so I really wanted to have something here that um, w was easy to, to identify with immediately. And actually, you can see sort of behind me, I have a couple of code flags. This is the, uh, well, you'll see what the, the actual trademark uh, and the logo is. You know, I mean, we're going we're gonna to talk about that in a minute, but... The, uh, that's, that's how it started. And so for me, it was people who are just getting diagnosed with cancer, are going through chemo or in radiation or hospice, the people who are actually in it, you know, are dealing with this thing day in, day out. Um, it's their private three hour sale with anybody that they want to take with them up to about eight people. And so it's sort of a private little, let's get away, let's get escape on Lake Champlain and, uh, you know, regroup and honor that person that asked us to be there. And um, so, yeah, that's how, that's, 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 that's the whole, the wonderful organization that started again here in February. Well, that sounds uh, very wonderful. Um, how, how would you, as, as someone who does this, describe uh, the experience and how does that help somebody who's facing uh, that particular problem? A very, very good question. It, you know, to answer how it helps somebody, for one thing, it just helps them physically to detach. It's amazing how when you're on a boat, I mean, many of us have had the opportunity to get on a motorboat or even just something. Once you detach yourself from land, there's just something symbolic about just leaving everything there, you know, and just get away. So, so for that person who's dealing with this day in and day out, it really is insistent. And it's wonderful to be able to be out there um, with people that you just adore you and love you and want the best for you. So what happens out there, Dennis, it's really pretty cool is that uh, this is an opportunity for, for someone to say, uh, you know, nominate you or refer you to come to a sale with us as we, we think you would have a great time and we're going to suggest that, you know, they, they ask you to come out. 
And at the same time, for that person who is, let's say, in, in hospice or a respite house and, you know, stage four and limited time left with us, it, it, I have found that it's a great opportunity for them to say thank you to all the people that have been by their side all this time and to say thank you in a unique way when they can provide memories. You know, uh, so, so being with us is an opportunity to say thank you to, to their family and also have a wonderful time outside and it's a positive and uplifting memory of this that this person is providing for their family uh, while they're still here and and so this is wonderful these two things that are happening out there at the same time and and then mother nature just does her thing you know i mean just being out there is is really a very incredibly moving so yeah you describe the, the route you take but where do you go do you go across to new york or uh where uh, on the lake do you have any special spots it's a very, very big lake, of course, and uh, uh, where do you go? How far do you go? Good, good question. How far do I go? So it really, we tend to go three hours at a, at a time because we find that that's about the right time uh, that, you know, it takes about an hour for people to really just, you know, let loose and just relax and not worry, right? We have, you know, captains and we have uh, a two crew. So we have three, three total crew that are really there to be there for these people. And with three hours, here on Lake Champlain, Dennis, we have uh, prevailing winds that come from the north or they come from the south generally in the summer. I mean, that's pretty much, you know, I mean, within reason, right? But that's pretty much the deal. So uh, we have pretty much found that, you know, that's a big lake, right? So, you know, nine miles across there at the widest part, 57 miles long. And uh, so we really can go out, we tend to go out and depending on the waves and the wind, we will often go around Juniper Island, sometimes go into Shelburne Bay, and sort of really depends on the wind and where it'll take us because the whole point is to turn off the engine, get the sails up, you know, and allow, allow Mother Nature to really bring this boat through the water. Um, and we actually, just so you know, we, we immediately, as soon as we can, will hand the helm, the wheel, over to that very person that is uh, being honored uh, because we want to give them something that's um, in control and that they have something that's in control for a few hours where everything else seems to be kind of out of control, you know? And uh, so it's a lot of fun. Incredibly, um, it's, a, it's incredibly powerful, you know? It, it, it's not a negative thing because we're, we're giving them a little piece of joy in their journey, which is not so positive often. So, uh, do you have your own vessel, or what vessels do you use? So, yes, well, Healing Winds has your own vessel, and so Sail Beyond Cancer, we just started up here um, in 2020, and uh, we are going to have a vessel. We don't right now, but uh, all the all the vessels in this organization, in the past organization, have been donated. And uh, so the actual organization owns the vessels. And so what that means is that we get to sail six days a week and sometimes up to three times a day. And so it's going, it's, it's, it's amazing. Last summer, for instance, uh, with the Healing Winds, we, took, we went on 91 sails and we took about 595 people out. So I anticipate that absolutely happening here again with Sail Beyond Cancer. And our uh, captains are pretty qualified. They're all either Coast Guard licensed captains or have been, or uh, you know, really know what they're doing. And uh, with Sail Beyond Cancer, we, we take pride in, in providing tremendous training for them before they get onto the boat, you know, rather than just sending people out. Uh, there is a training that goes through, you know, that you really have to know kind of what to say and when to be quiet and, you know, when, you know, obviously have compassion, you know, but um, just, just making sure that we're providing the best possible sale every single time. Are these captains volunteers or do you actually charter best? No, so this is all a volunteer driven nonprofit, which is so wonderful because, uh, you know, many people have been touched by cancer. I don't know whether you have or not, but, you know, I mean, it's everywhere. And uh, 
so it's a great way for people to give back and um, in their in their time we have up to 20 captains and probably 35 crew or so that we vetted and uh, that we really want to make sure that they are feeling really good about being out there which they always do but um, so yeah it's all volunteer I mean there's with Sail Beyond Cancer, we have one uh, one staff member. We'll probably end up having two as we get up and running more. And uh, it's just great for people to know that this is what we're doing here on Lake Champlain. So, now, how how does somebody uh, coordinate this? It does sound like a kind of a massive operation. You're running almost your own mine, mine or something like. Uh, but how does this get coordinated? How does it work? Is that what you said? How does it, How does it organize? Yeah. Yeah. So I think you, I, it was a little bit hard for me to hear you. Sorry. Um, I think you said how is it organized or how, how is it uh, organized and, and coordinated? Uh, coordinated. Yes. Okay. So the staff member is our, our our scheduler, and what happens is we have a board of directors here, and uh, you know, you know, just like any nonprofit, we are a five hundred one c three. So we're fully, you know, part of the IRS and, you know, we're all legitimate. And so anybody can nominate anybody or, you know, refer anybody to come sailing. And then we coordinate with that person what's the best day, you know, uh, of the week that they can come out sailing with us. And uh, then, they have, then they're kind of charged with coordinating who they want to have come with them. Right. So then we leave it up to them and we get once they gather their friends or family, then they will call us back or we'll call them back and we'll coordinate a day and a time that works best for them, Dennis. We tend to sail the exact same time uh, each day. So we know that on Fridays we, we leave at 10 a.m. or 2 p.m. or 5.30. So you have three choices. Uh, the weekends tend to be the most coveted times, you know, to, to go because it's easier for friends and family to take off from work or, you know, are available to come and sail uh, with you. So it's, it's pretty, it's, it's a pretty good, well-oiled machine at this point. You know, we've taken with the other organization, we've taken about 1800 people out sailing. 1800. So, amazing. you know, it's just amazing. Yeah, it, it is just great. So I fully anticipate that we'll be as be busy, if not busier uh, here on Lake Champlain as well. So it's a, uh, it's exciting, you know. A lot of this is electronic. We get all the all the waivers signed before they get on the boat. Um, what's different about this type of organization? It's a nonprofit. We don't take any money to to take somebody out sailing. So we're not a charter company like the Friendship Sloops or it is um, or any of the other places here in Lake Champlain. It's 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 a free a service that's supported by individual donations, family foundations, uh, corporate grants, that sort of thing. So very similar to Make-A-Wish, if you would, you know, if you think of Make-A-Wish or uh, Habitat for Humanity, or so it's it's a service that we provide, but it's a free service. So, you know, it, it what what that happened, it, that makes it all work, right? Um, if, if it was a charter company, it would be very expensive to to do imagine that's that's amazing uh, and it's, 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 i know you. the difficulty of the sailing itself but also the, the back uh, end of it you know all the uh, coordination and also inspections and, and uh, yeah. making it ready or running you know it's it's it goes with boat owning but um now yeah. uh, when when a, 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 a vessel goes out uh, how many people do you take and how many people can you take Let's say someone has a big family, uh, that kind of thing. Well, we, uh, thank you. That's a good question, too. Um, well, right now, of course, the Sail Beyond Cancer, because we are looking for the type of boat we want, we've really figured out what works best here on this lake. So, uh, you know, we're looking at probably a 40 foot vessel, which will accommodate for here, that's big, uh, but you know, you get off of Lake Champlain, a 40 foot vessel is not really considered a very big boat. <laughs> uh, but uh, in any case, we have one captain that's in charge, and then we have two crew members, Dennis, one of which is called, considered a first mate, which is essentially that captain's right-hand person, right? And that first mate is, is qualified, skill level is very high. 
and uh, for sailing. And then we also have a second crew member, which is sort of like a, I would say a, 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 a um, we call him an ambassador, but it's almost like a cruise director. You know, that person can, you know, love, I mean, they all, we all vet people, we train them all, right? It, you know, everybody's compassionate, but that person's job is to really be sort of the liaison between the group and, you know, getting, getting sunscreen, getting water, getting whatever else that they might need. They can go up and down, you know, there's a whole down below, you know, of these boats, there's bunks and, bathroom and you know there's they're pretty good size uh, but uh yeah so that person is really there to be be the point person we all talk to everybody but as your role that's you know the captain's role and the first mate's role their primary role is to make sure that this sale every sale is is by the books exactly the same protocol you know u.s coast guard compliant you know being a captain myself it's so important to have safety matters and training done well before anybody gets on that boat as one of our crew because uh, you know you that is the program dennis you know those three hours so what about uh, uh what about uh, explaining what's going on uh, is it sort of an i think everybody could use this a little bit of an educational component explaining uh, uh what's going on with the vessel but also what are they seeing out there some of the the historic uh, aspects of Lake Champlain. Uh, does any of that type of thing go on? Yeah, that's a very good question. You know, it's interesting. I, I can't wait to get you out. You have to be, you have to come out as one of my uh, my my crew, okay? Because you know, it's just it's very interesting. It goes against what a lot of people think. Okay, when you go out on a sailboat and you you are on a chartered sailboat, you are there to be sort of entertained in a way, right? You know, your your job as captain and crew is to say well that yellow buoy over there represents a sunken ship and this is the whole history on this boat we do that dennis but it's a really fine line with what we do because our main purpose is to guide these people this group this very special group who is very much engrossed in their family and especially that person that they're honoring right so we're essentially getting them away from their, their cancer anxiety to bring them out, to allow them to be with each other. And, and, and sometimes some of these family members have not been, you know, in 40 feet of each other in a very long time, you know, let alone stuck on a boat for three hours. And, you know, you can think about some of these high school kids who are like, oh, you know, but I'm telling you, a year, um, an hour into the sale, they're just loving life. And they just think this is the best thing ever. So the captain's role and the crew's role is absolutely to have this knowledge, right? We have all the knowledge of the different, um, you know, the wrecks and, you know, the history of all, and, and there are definitely people that ask that. Um, but it's very, a very fine line because we are not here to entertain them or to teach them how to sail. Um, we, we'll answer questions, but it's, it's very interesting because you know, our job is to watch a lot, right? Watch the body language. Some of these families are just hunkered in and have no idea where they are on the lake. They don't care. They're just thrilled to be out there. They don't, they have no idea that we're tacking. You know, they don't even know, like, and sometimes they'll look up and they'll see, oh my God, there's another boat over there. You know? but, but then they get right back into their conversation, you know? So um, it, is, it is really magical because it is it is important to understand what our role is out there and that's why the training is just so important you know and so I, did that does that help answer oh absolutely and uh yeah i, I know uh, there are some of these charters they'll, they'll want to just have a lecture and people really want to talk or when people want to talk they want to maybe hear a, a lecture whatever you know so it's the, the flexibility i think is, is important Enjoy the day, enjoy the, the moment. That's probably more important than getting getting a lecture. Um, and I know that this is probably on the website, uh, but uh, what are some testimonials? Uh, what, what types of uh, feedback have you received uh, from this type of effort? Oh my goodness, so yeah. many amazing, amazing comments. You know, I, I have a couple of, I'll, I'll give you a quick story. I have, a, you know, 100 stories, right? But uh, here, here's the story of a woman that uh, 
had nominated her sister and her sister was in hospice. So we all went out sailing and it was a really great day and da, 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 da. So it was kind of in the August or so. And this is, again, this is several years ago, but so in October, because the boat comes out of the water, you know, the first week in October, it's too cold up here to sail. So in October, I get a call from the sister and she says, oh, you know, Suzanne, do you remember me? And, and I said, absolutely, I, I totally do. And she said, well, I wanted to tell you that, um, you know, uh, that, you know, Helen passed away this morning. You know, so she's calling me to tell me that the very person that, that we took out passed away. And, and that was like, wow, you know, of course, I'm just so sorry. And she said, and we're all sitting here in her living room in Barrie, and we're all talking about what an amazing gift you all gave us. And it was something that no other organization has been able to do. And you gave us the gift of memories and time and time together. And we are so very thankful for that. And we just keep talking about this. And she kept talking about this, you know, right up to the, you know, the day before she died. And so I, we just, we just hope that this is something that is available for other families like us and, you know, in lieu of flowers, we, can we have, you know, donations, going up, you know, of course, yes, thank you so very much. But that's the kind of thing that, it affects people and, it, and we, we, we give photos, Dennis, as well. So it, the photos are lasting memories of this, uh, of this time together. And another, another story that was very touching that I love to share is that uh, a friend of mine here in Burlington was not, you know, came out sailing and she's stage four uh, cancer. And she came out with her girlfriends, right? And they had a great old time. I mean, they were laughing and just, you know, having just a ball. And uh, it was really, really wonderful to see. And so we got off the boat after the sail and everybody was leaving and she, we get out onto the dock and she turns to me and, and starts crying and gives me a big hug and just said, you know, you have no idea. She said, I felt cancer free for three hours. And you know, I will never be, ever be cancer free again. And just this time to be with my girlfriends and just be, you know, I'll call her Susie, you know, just be Susie, Susie that everybody knew. And they, all my girlfriends know me as, you know, this is me. That was, that was unbelievably uh, special. And, and we thank you so, so much for doing this. And it's so important that uh, we have these times to get away and escape, you know, so. Those are two examples. I mean, I can go on forever, but uh, we're at, the, you, beginning, we're at the, the beginning of June right now. Maybe you can just uh, tell our viewers what, what plans do you have for the summer and the rest of the season, I guess, sailing yeah. season. Well, for this season, you mean? Yes. Yes. Well, uh, good question, right? I mean, huh. I honestly believe that we, we do have, we, you know, we have a few sales that are scheduled and it, but they're tentative because for me, uh, the last thing I want to do is to, um, to, uh, at all hurt, uh, and, and, uh, expose this very, very, uh, sensitive population right now, because of course, anybody going through cancer, any age, any cancer, which are the people that we serve, right? Dennis, they have no antibody. They have no, they're, everything's shot, especially if they've gone through chemo, which most of them have. And I know this all firsthand, you know, I mean, it's what we, so to answer your question, we are able to get out more on the lake now, normal, you know, those of us who are not dealing with cancer, but that does not mean that we can go and do this with the very, very demographic that we are here to serve. So I am very tentative about getting out there and because they are the priority. It's not about showing the community that we're out there, we're getting out there, we're doing these things. No, we, we need to be very, very careful. And, uh, you know, we just don't know enough about this COVID to know the last, it would be awful if we accidentally, you know, exposed somebody. And that's, that's not good, right? I mean, their, 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 their chances of survival are significantly uh, lower than uh, someone like you and me. So, so I'm not, I mean, so meanwhile, it gives us an opportunity to get out there and talk to people like you. So thank you so much for having us on and share with people that I am right here. I am running Sail Beyond Cancer. We are absolutely positively here to serve the public. 
and do it even better than we've done it before. So that's great. One of the things we like to do in Positively Vermont is to tell uh, the viewers and, uh, and the public how they can help, uh, and specifically, what do you need right now? Yes. Or in the well, we, great, great. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you there. Um, so the best way people can help us is to to like our website, our, our our Facebook page, our Instagram, our our LinkedIn. Watch what we're doing comment get involved sign up to be a volunteer there's many many different things that you can do even if we can't get out sailing yet uh, we are going to be starting a, a little campaign for a vessel even though all these vessels are usually donated to us we would love to be able to have anybody's uh, you know friends of anybody on or off the lake who have a vessel that they are thinking about either selling or can't sell that they would like to talk to us. And uh, so that would probably be our front and center uh, aspect that we are looking for a 38, 38 to 45 foot vessel uh, of uh, a sailing boat, obviously, you know, that's not any older than 1990, ideally. <laughs> so, but you'll see those type of things on our website. And um, I just encourage people to sign up, learn about us, find out how we're a little different than uh, the other organization here on Lake Champlain and um, you know what sets us apart and how they can help. So, Why don't you uh, give us, uh, I know sometimes it's difficult uh, in, in this format uh, to see those uh, website information. Why don't you just state, state them out right now, uh, your, your website information. Okay, sailbeyondcancer.org. And the Facebook and sail, Yeah, and so sailbeyondcancer.org is, is the mothership and when you get to that website, you'll see the boat sailing by. Hit, there are two chapters, one right here in Burlington and one in Salem, Massachusetts. They are separate entities. They are uh, each have their board of directors and they do their fundraising. Uh, so you, if you know somebody that you want to nominate or you know, refer, refer and nominate are the same thing. You know, you're basically referring a, a friend to go sailing. You can refer them if they are from Boston or from that area, you can get onto that page and refer them there. Uh, we are absolutely 100% uh, legit with these two different uh, chapters. So if you have friends that uh, you think would want to um, uh, volunteer, you can send them a page and so you go ahead and click right on there, the little buttons to say, you know, donate here, of course, but that we really need. So we're especially, you know, encourage any kind of support, Dennis, you know, whether it be financial, because we're just starting back up again here. And uh, with COVID-19, obviously, it's very hard to be able to share the value of what we do. And that's, that's what people, people want to give to help people in our community, right? That's why you do what you do, right? Because you're here, you're trying to explain and share people in your network, what other awesome opportunities are there out there to get involved? And so that's, that's how you can do it. Get on that website, look at our Facebook page, Sail Beyond Cancer Vermont is our Facebook page. Same thing with LinkedIn and I uh, comment and get involved. They just love to have your input. That's great. Well, uh, thank you very much. And uh, uh, certainly we should uh, happy sailing. And uh, we want to uh, thank you for appearing uh, with us today on Positively Vermont. Uh, this is Dennis McMahon. Uh, my guest today has been Suzanne Snyder Johnson, the executive director and a captain of Sail Beyond Cancer, a very unique organization. And thank you all for watching.